If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best free 90 overall end cat gridiron guardian players to choose from the fantasy pack. Now, that was a mouthful. Guys, you get two gridiron guardian players, right? 90 overall. Now, the thing with this is one is going to be end cat, one will actually be auctionable. So it really doesn't matter who you take here theoretically because you can just go ahead and sell them now if you guys know what i'm talking about before we get into the video hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course you need coins to pick up any players beyond this head on down below to my sponsor use code poodle they got the cheapest coins you don't want to miss out let's head on over so solos you coming over to your solo challenges guys with the new gridiron guardians promo you will go ahead and actually get a free player as you can see here on milestones tier 4 90 overall NCAT Gridiron Guardian Fantasy Packs. So this is where you'll be able to get one of your free ones. Now, it is NCAT, which means no tr no sets, no trading, no auctions, which is okay because that means you get to keep this one. So, I recommend the one you're going to keep going to be the one that you'll never buy, the one that's too expensive to buy, the one that can stay on your team for a long time. Don't if it, Take the one that you don't mind getting rid of as auctionable. It's like, like early in the year with Jamar Chase, we loved him, but we figured he'd be the one you'd want to sell at some point because he's going to be the most expensive. So, make sure you get the auctionable one as the one that holds probably some pretty good value as well. So you can go ahead and sell them. And the one you don't plan on selling as your NAT one. Or if you guys only like one card, let's say you only like one card from that entire promo, get the same card twice. Take one as NCAT, take that, and then sell the other one after, right? Just sell it right away. Take the one that's most expensive, give or take. But let's check out these cards real quick before we get into the video. We go over to Program. We go to Gridiron Guardians, guys. These are the players, right? They're going for 185K. And again, guys, if you want to get one of these, you can get even a third. If you go over to the store, they will be a $10 minus 10 percent right it'll be like a nine dollar offer to actually go ahead and get one of these players so pretty easy to do pretty good value honestly i imagine these cards will probably sit around 180 or 150 at some point you know the prob probably the range of stays in because they're pretty easy to get uh, especially if you go ahead and do that pack so guys how are we gonna do this so there's about i believe there was a total of what like six or seven here six eight we got buckner white adams kamara cooper Buckner, White, Adams, Kamara, Cooper, Evans, that's six. Gilmore, that's seven. Jasicki, that's eight. If I'm not mistaken, guys, there's eight total here. Did I do white? I think I did I do white. There's around eight. There's some there's around that that range right now. In my personal opinion, guys, I'm gonna be ranking the top three. I think there's about three that you can actually start and use on your team and actually get some value out of. So I'm gonna do my top three. So, we're going to get into this. I'm cutting out the rest of them, guys. Now, remember, if these top three don't fit into your build, it doesn't mean you have to get them. Some people may, like, if you're a Saints team team, I don't have Kamara on my list. I'm just going to get that out there. Kamara is pretty bad, in my opinion. But if you have a Saints team team, he actually may be, like, the best running back for a Saints team team that you might want to use. So, he could actually have some value in that case. But I think in most cases, Kamara is just not the guy I'll probably be taking with my pick. But let's fill this out again. Let's just check the price up. 175 for Adams. Let's get into it. So my third overall player on my list that I think that you should actually pick up is going to be Tredavious White. Now, the reason I picked him over Gilmore is because if you compare them, he has a better excel than Gilmore, which is a big deal to me. So only an 87 speed. I'm not a fan of the speed, but he's not horrible. And he's at a depth position, which means if you do get him for free, he can play your cornerback two, three, four, and five. And honestly, guys, this year, zones have been the greatest. A lot of people don't actually like investing in good corners. I, I know a lot of people who may not want to spend a million dollars on, you know, a million coins on a corner or safety. If they're trying to get deep burnt anyways or just get manipulated anyways right or rpo glitch so not a bad guy to fill in your overall spot looks pretty cool powered up guys so remember he has 88 play rack 91 man 87 zone 89 press so powered up he gets 88 speed with a strat card you can probably get him up to a 90 speed 91 excel 80 jumping which is kind of low but he does get he'll get his play rack up to an 89 he has the 90 man threshold he'll have an 88 zone and the 90 press thresholds so he'll be a lot pretty locked down man corner in terms of that so maybe you know filter out do coach adjustments by speed to make sure he doesn't end up on like the tyree kill or any of the you know like the fast guy in the other team right make sure that he's not on the slowest guy but he will be pretty locked down in man coverage and if you guys peek on down to stats 70 catching isn't horrible 85 change of direction is decent and we check on down no block shed no hit power but overall he's a he's a he's a standard well-rounded corner right for the most part can do man can do a little bit of everything he'd be my third guy like i said the reason he makes this list over some other guys because he is a dead position so even if you get him now and he's like your second corner he can move down to your third fourth or fifth you know he can he'll have a spot on that depth chart for some time and you could you know you could always just have him there pretty decent to improve your overall at a position where you won't replace him and it's like if let's say you take a quarterback which there isn't one 
The second you throw him to your backup, it doesn't help your overall. He will never be used, never be touched. So it's good to have a guy like him there. Number two on the list for me is going to be DeForest Buckner. I know defensive tackle isn't a flashy pick, but again, it's a position that people don't really like buying. And sometimes you need certain overalls. Like I need an 87 overall to go ahead and complete my one of my camp chancellor tokens, right? So I don't want to go ahead and buy certain positions that I'm not using, like an outside linebacker, one of them that I don't actually put on the field. Just, oh, uh, you know, second middle linebacker, let's say I don't put that on the field. But I need the overall, so I have to go spend coins, which I don't want to do either in that sense. So I could just take it to Forrest Buckner, make him my first overall, second DT, get me the, you know, if you have a DT already in like the Limbo Joseph, you get him and Buckner for free. And now you have two borderline, you know, 90 overall-esque helping out overall guys, right? Not to mention, he's pretty good. 70 speed, 84 excel is not bad for a DT. 85 strength is a little bit low, but he gets 88 tackle, 90 play rec, 87 block shed, and 91 finesse move. So he's going to be a really, really good pass rusher. Six foot seven, 300 pounds. And behind the card, he gets 80 impact blocking, and he gets 87 hit power. So he's not bad. And he doesn't have to be your one. Again, he's like, like I said, he could be your two. He could just be a guy like, you know, no one likes buying the first defensive tackle. No one really likes buying the second one. Let's say you're going to have like a mean Joe Green in the future, or you end up with a Warren Sapp or something like that. You could put Buckner as your backup and just have him there as a guy who boosts your overall and a guy that comes in on certain downs when people are tired. He's, it's not a bad, it's not a bad option. Again, it's depth. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the 90 overalls were a little underwhelming, and I, but you do get two potentially for free. So if you got it and you get one, you really can't even get rid of. So you want to be taking someone that even if you don't like him, they can still benefit your team somehow. And I feel like Buckner is on that list similar to white. And then the top overall guy, in my opinion, is going to be Jamal Adams, which I don't want to click on that one at the top because then it, he ends up getting bought out. Jamal Adams simply... He's a safety. Same thing. He could play for you. If you let's say he's a strong safety, and then you get Cam Chancellor, move him to free. Then you get Sean Taylor, move him to some sub linebacker. And which I actually I think I'd want to play him a sub linebacker. He gets 89 speed, 88 excel, 87 tackle, 89 play rec, 90 pursuit, 87 zone, 91 hit power, and 81 man coverage. Now what I like about him, powered up, he gets 90 speed, which can probably get up to about a 91, 92 depending. But 90 speed, 89 excel, he'll get 88 tackle, he'll get the 90 play rec threshold, the pursuit only gets an 88 zone, but he has hit power, so he's gonna have speed. Hip power, tackle, play rec, six foot one, two thirteen, and he will go ahead and get a decent catching at seventy, and he gets a seventy-two block shed. But in my opinion, I think he's better at sub linebacker, and this is what I'm saying. He has a position where you can move him to strong to free to sub. Put him at sub linebacker. He's gonna be a great linebacker. He has good height at six foot one, two thirteen, very well rounded. The zone eighty-seven is good for a linebacker, but he has the hip power. He'll have the ability to jump because he is, of course, a safety, and he'll get the animations, and he has good speed at ninety. Jamal Adams is a perfect sub linebacker, and I think that's where I'd like to have him on. Again, even special teams, having him as the backup, laying boom. Like, that's a big thing on special teams, coming in and using that safety and just hitting and destroying the um, the returner. Jamal Adams is going to have use on special teams throughout the year, no matter what is a backup. He's a 90 overall, and of course, like I said, sub linebacker. He's probably going to be a beast at sub linebacker, 86 change of direction as well. I really think that's where he fits best. So, my top three overall, like I said, Tredavious White, Buckner, and Adams. You got to go with the guys that give you depth. Right now, Evans and Cooper do give you depth, but I just don't think they're usable at this point. We have so many guys at, at wide receiver that go up to like 93, 92, 91, 90, you know, 90 speed. Cooper and Evans at 87, 88 are just unusable. Kamara at 87 speed is unusable. Jasicki at 84 speed isn't horrible, but I, I wouldn't like it. So I really think it came down to the, you know, the Gilmores, the Whites, the Adams, and the Buckners. But again, I don't mind buying wide receivers. I need them. I don't mind buying running backs. I like them. It's more defensive tackles and cornerbacks. I hate buying because cornerbacks is like, you know, you could buy three Darrell Revis, you know, stud ass cornerbacks and still get burnt all day. So I feel like I don't notice it as much sometimes. So I'd rather have a guy that just fits in and fills the, you know, fits the bill. And then I'll got like Buckner. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.